Welcome to 5th of February's Golly Blessing, a beautiful blessing where we learn about the difference between two forms of donations. One is when you give somebody clothes, food to eat and a shelter. The next one is you teach those people or the souls how to be away or how to be getting rid of the sins which they have done because of which they are in that state. Now both the methods are there. One is a temporary method and one is a permanent method. In one of the methods which has been used and is being done for a very very long time is you giving donations of money, food, shelter, clothes. God now says that it is time to give the souls the real fortune. That means the real gift of the knowledge of how to have connection with the Supreme Creator so that our past life sins are absolved and thus we can start living a healthy, financial, mental, emotional, relational life right now itself. So let's understand and let's get into the details of it. Godfather says, may you be a generous hearted, great donor and remain aware of your fortune and the father and the bestower of fortune and constantly share your fortune. How do we do that? For that we need to understand that it is important to be connected with the Supreme Creator, to have the divinity, to have the purity, to have the knowledge of the divine being because the whole world is moving as per those rules, as per divinity. But since we have turned around and made our own rules and we have abolished divinity, people are in sin and thus facing the consequences. So God says, when you remember the father, the one who is the bestower of all the wishes. And how does he do that? He removes the anger, greed, ego, jealousy, lust and many other negativities within us because of which we have received the state of lack of finances, lack of health, lack of good relationships, lack of mental emotional stability. And he gives us that knowledge, he gives us the power to overcome all these negativities and start doing karma in a positive manner so that the fruit of it becomes beautiful. It is something which is done over a period of time. God then says, <coughs> when you remember the father, the bestower of fortune and your fortune, what we have received from him in Brahma Kumaris, you will then have the zeal and enthusiasm to make others fortunate. Just as the father, the bestower of fortune, shares fortune through Brahma, that means, that's where the name Brahma Kumaris, in the same way you are children of the bestower and so continue to share your fortune too. That means the wisdom which we have received from the creator. Share it with others so that they can also learn that wisdom and undo the things which they have done in the past and redo good deeds and then enjoy their life. Those people distribute clothes, food and gifts, but no one is satisfied, satisfied with those. For how long can you make them satisfied? They'll again come back and ask for more. So God says there's a permanent solution. You distribute your fortune, that is wisdom, knowledge, meditation, and where there is fortune, there are all attainments automatically. Be generous hearted in this way. Don't be a miser. When giving knowledge, it increases. But if you give you, if you give clothes, food, and gifts, it can, it can something that is something which can reduce in quantity. But when you compare it with knowledge, divine knowledge, it can only increase many fold. So don't be a miser in it. Be generous hearted in this way and distribute your fortune and become elevated and a great donor. Constantly continue to give. Don't think should I give it to him or not. Is he good enough or not? Well, people are not good enough because of their sins. And it is time for us to give it to them. If it's now, it's now. Otherwise, never. Don't steal their fortune away. This is not something which is going to cost you money. That's what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. Divine knowledge doesn't cost money to you. You can use your mind, your intellect and the wealth which you have in serving humanity and earn their blessings. How do you do that is what you learn in Brahma Kumaris, become a independent, infinite server, not somebody who's finite. Giving clothes, food, shelter is something that is okay, but there's something which is much more bigger and permanent. 
Come and learn that art at Brahma Kumaris. Om Shanti to you.